That's 20 pin lead so, now. Minus the fill. Minus the fill. And he fills it with a hammer. Ariana and basically we're looking at an almost even match. Ariana had a 46 half. Danielle Manser 41 in the bonus ball. That Boudreaux's about to fill right now. He's on the quarter pin, but he's going to get a break. A he's big a, break. He's going to get a better break than Anthony got on the head pin. Which happens a lot in this game. Anthony's been all over that. Well, both bowlers have been all over that head pin. Look at that beautiful try there. Man. Boudreaux just uh, sliding by. On the pin. No, that's... That would look like a nice spare leave, too, if he hit the front one. Well, Delmonico grabs his 10, and he picks up a pin. Boudreaux with 9. Beaupre and Delmonico are at 56. Manser and Boudreaux, 58. So it's a 13-pin difference in the match. There's a strike. A little fist pump for Anthony Delmonico. He's all over that head pin. I really enjoy watching him bowl. I wish he had been with us for longer than just, I think he started last year with us. He showed up last minute today as well. There's a nice break. Jonathan had to spare up against the two pins. Caught the 10 pin, the back pin, and the wood snapped and took out the 6 pin. Yeah, I believe we have a new feature we're considering adding at some point this year. A feature, uh, Ask the Doctor showing you how to make certain shots and that's that's the type of shot we're going to show one of these weeks where you can play a back pin and still make it sometimes. We'd like to thank the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill for allowing us to bowl here today and the Angelotti family for treating us so well. We really enjoy coming here for our Candle Pin for Kids events. Delmonico filling the spear with five. Boudreaux eight and a second consecutive mark. This is going to tighten things up. Delmonico with a seven. That's his first first box where he was off a little, Dan. Well, sometimes, you know, your opponent, you're looking at three out of four marks against you. It's easy to be off a little. And I, I double check my math, but I think it's a seven pin minus a ball lead, I think, right now. I, I think I might actually be off. I'll double check that. No, well, I think you're right, Dan. Okay. There's another big eight. The match is even. Match is just. Or, or, or Boudreaux lead, might right? be. One Boudreaux and Mancer, Boudreaux. I believe, are up by one. Wow. How things change. Delmonico. Oh! The practice what by Lou Jack. Shot. Clutch spare there. And Boudreaux with a spare. Three consecutive marks. We're having a great it's, match. It's a one pin match in favor of Mancer and Boudreaux. Both boys are f working on spares. And we're in the final box. What a match. What a way to finish no a day pressure, of taping. No pressure, Dan. No pressure. Right in the pocket. Delmonico back That's on that head That's a tough six for pin. being on the head pin like that. Boudreaux with six. That's a tougher six. Pinning. How important is pinning now? It's a tough, sh well, we've got a tough break for Jonathan. On, on the right. Well, so Anthony what? left the door open a little. We could have a tie. We've very well could be. Anthony's got to make this shot. It's a tough one, but you got to make all three of them. Here. I'm thinking Anthony's going to make them all. Jonathan's going to get one. Ooh, that's, that's going to do it. Match, yeah. That's going to be the match right there. Boudreaux and Manser are going to pull it out by two pins. A great match. Great match. Great match. We have a final game of Manser and Boudreaux at 119. Beaupre and Delmonico are at 102. And our final scores for the day. 219 to 221. Manser and Boudreaux will be moving on to the championship show in March. A great, great job. We're going to go to break and we're going to come back with the high-low jack worth a $25 gift card, so please don't go away.